Do you know that 51% of women and 60% of Russian men believe that harassment issues are actually exaggerated and 9%, 11% of men and women respectively actually feel like it is not an issue. Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys have been good and staying safe out there. I'm sure you guys can already see the title of this video and um, I'm sure that it's stirring up some concerns in your mind and I actually do intend to share my own personal experience as uh, this topic that we are going to discuss today because a lot of people right here in Russia have actually gone through something like that so now let's start from the beginning as regards the poll this poll was taken in March 2020 and this one was even as regards um, harassment in the workplace like a missed Russian so my question is if even amidst the Russian group, like amidst their own nationals, what about foreigners? What 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 chance do we stand to survive in such an environment? So I've actually had um, quite a number of my friends actually talk about their own harassment issues and like issues that have been coming up like that. I'm going to be sharing my own experience with you guys, and I hope that um, it sort of brings brings. Um, awareness about these things that happen here so in stay Russia. tuned and enjoy the video do not forget to like share comment and subscribe so starting with my own experience i think i was in um i was in my um language year that was my first year in russia and i remember that on that faithful day i was um i was on my way to class from the hostel i, I had not gone far from the hostel i was going towards the metro station metro textile shiki and um i was just walking past and then before i realized what was going on some guy just walked past me and hit my butt and then i'm like i just aggressively turned back i'm like what what in the world is going on and as at that point in time what came out of my mind like i really wanted to insult him because i was shocked i was i did not know what to say and the next word that came came out of my mouth was was in yoruba like can you imagine even as at that point in time i had not known how to speak russian language so there was no even way i would express my anger very well in russian language and i just turned back and i did this to him those people are nigerians just understand what that is like it means like are you out of your mind or something i was so angry i was fuming as i was going to school that day and um it just kept on ringing in my mind and every single time that i passed through that place this incident kept on reoccurring in my mind and i was always scared like that is why even up to now when i see these people we call them um the the Kafkas people or the black-headed people that are not pure russians that we see them around there you we are always very cautious and careful around them because they are always one prone to doing those things that was my own um sexual harassment um story and um verbal like uh, verbal harassment I, i'm sure like really most of foreigners or especially we black people must have gone through that here um where we get to be told oh, go back to your country you black monkey and this one and that one and then you see especially when they are drunk in the metro like it gets to the point that even you yourself you're scared of walking out in um at night and um maybe Coming across them especially when they are drunk you're always scared and sometimes it gets to the point of you having to get out from the metro like some of them actually follow you i remember vividly they will walk like maybe you're in the metro station you are in the train and then one of them will probably just come and sit beside you and then they're trying to you know speak to you and like please can we take a photo or some of them would be saying things like uh, uh how much is, is it per night because in their minds they already think that you're a prostitute sometimes when you're not giving them attention they even come all the way like to sit down beside you and touch you and stuff like that it gets really annoying and like it it keeps it gives um one some sort of psychological fear and things like So I'm going to also be recounting um, the story of some of my friends 
so i put out the question i put out this question to some of my friends on whatsapp and some of them shared their their own story with me so i'm going to be i'm going to be talking about some of them just very briefly so i remember one of them one of uh, my friends telling me that she went into the metro and um she sat down and some guy just came in and then was just saying a lot of nonsense in her ears uh, these and some of them were showing her um pornography like in the metro and then she had to stand up she changed seats and the person still came after her she decided to get out of the metro out of the train and then like to change the, the um wagons and then the guy still followed her like i could imagine the kind of fear that would have been going through her mind at that point in time she also recounted the point where she was standing at the bus stop and just waiting for the next bus and then a taxi just pulls up and then it's like uh, uh that she should come in and then she was like she didn't order a taxi so why is this guy telling her to come in and blah 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 and then he was like ah i'm going to treat you well how much is it per night and blah 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 and blah 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 like you can imagine the disgust and like the audacity and then they're just some sort of some set of russians that were standing by and we're just laughing just because we are black they already just conclude that we are prostitute and like this goes on and on and on and on like that that some of them um okay it might not it's not only streamlined to just sexual harassment now now we're talking about verbal harassment almost every african can say that i've not taken the pool but i could tell you that if not really up to 80 percent or if not even more than 80 percent of africans in russia have been harassed both sexually mostly verbally and some of us sexually too this question is something that um actually aggravates me because it's not only uh, it's not only now physically seeing them and then like them touching you or telling you this even now on on social media like they have their own special kind of facebook and then you will just see a random text that will come in and be like how much do you how much is it per night some of them will send you like the pictures of their organs and like things like that like really disgusting things i think that's why i'm just going to stop it today being the fact that i have been there and i know how it felt at that point in time and um one of my friends actually sharing our own our own story and then i could feel the fact that she doesn't actually even feel safe she just feels like oh the next russian guy that's going to pass is going to harass her the next person that's going to come is going to say this the next person that's going to come is going to do this to her there is no sense of security but then i really don't know what to say to end this video but i just want to create awareness and i just wanted to talk about this thing because but nobody's saying anything about it and we need to get the story out there so um please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you have also been some way some sort um been harassed verbally or sexually you can drop your own comments down below if you're not too shy to share your story we would like to hear we like to we like people to know more about these things and you know let awareness be made for it thank you so much for staying tuned with me thank you so much guys love you guys ciao ciao